Let's talk about the colors a little bit. There are two types of colors you can apply in T5JS, stroke and fill. I'm going to draw a rectangle. And run the sketch. So this is a default color. As you can see, we have black stroke with white fill. So if you want to change the stroke color, we will use stroke function. And the color function must be applied before you draw any shape. And then in between the parentheses, uh, you will give it a value. So I'm gonna just try for now grayscale value from 0 to 255. So grayscale goes from 0 to 255. 0 meaning black, no light, and 255 full light, so it becomes white. So if I want to set the stroke to mid gray, I will give it a value something like 128 and same with fill color again you apply the color before you draw a shape and give it a value so let's say 50 it's a dark gray and if you want to disable any of the components say stroke or fill then we have no stroke and no fill function so let me just comment them all out and then say no fill Obviously, no fill function doesn't take any uh, value in between the parentheses because we're just disabling it. And now we can look through the shape and that color is just a background color. And same with no stroke. So in this case, if I disable no fill and no stroke, we won't be seeing anything. I'm gonna go back and just change the fill color to light gray. And there was a grayscale, but if you want to try full color, by default, T5JS use RGB color system. Red, green, and blue. And each channel can go from 0 to 255 again. 255 being the maximum. So if I want to just get a full bright red, then I'll say full value for the red channel and zero for green and blue. If I want to get a yellow, then full value for red and green, and zero for blue. Working with RGB color system isn't that very intuitive, so if you will be working a lot with RGB colors, then I think it's better to get the color swatches from you know, Photoshop or Illustrator, instead of trying to memorize all these different values. If you also want to try opacity or alpha channel, then you can add one more value here. And this also goes from zero to 255. So right now it's maximum opacity, but if I want half opacity, then I'll again, just try something like 128. Now it's semi-transparent. It might not be very obvious, so I'm gonna draw another rect. Uh, overlapping with the original one. What if I want to try a different color for my second rectangle? Then again, you will set it before you draw another shape. It's like grabbing a color pen and whatever you draw next after you're grabbing a pen, then it will all be drawn in the same color. So if I want to set this in different color, then I need to grab a different pen. So let me grab like a green pen this time. And whatever drawn after will be drawn on top of previous ones. So this one sort of covered the entire thing. I'm going to also set the opacity lower. And if you want, you can also bring back stroke in this case, black stroke. So that was RGBA, red, green, blue, and alpha and each channel 0 to 255. And that's the default color mode of P5JS. But then again, it's not very intuitive, so depending on your situation, uh, you might want to try something different. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to try different color mode called HSB, which stands for hue, saturation, and brightness. And each channel takes a different range than the RGB. So hue will go from 
0 to 360 as if in a color wheel starting from red going to yellow green blue purple back to red 0 to 360 you can just imagine a color wheel in your mind and saturation goes from 0 to 100 as in percentage and brightness as well 0 to 100 also you can try HSBA with edit alpha channel same here but uh, with another channel at the end your saturation brightness again it's the same range 360 100 100 but in the case of alpha it goes only from 0 to 1 so if you want like half opacity then you will use value something like 0 0.5 so let's try that out first of all we need to set the color mode to HSB I'm gonna first draw an ellipse in the middle of my screen and then set it to again full red and the saturation 100 and full brightness and that's what we get then now it's really easy to just change color like if you want to try something like rainbow all you need to do is just keep the saturation and brightness value but just work with the uh, hue value to change the color so 30 orange 60 yellow 90 kind of green 120 different green what about 240 it will be blue 320 it will be kind of pink and coming back to 360 full red so i think this is a more intuitive way with working uh, with colors and if you want to make it a bit darker to so try something like 60 for brightness and if you want to add an alpha again alpha doesn't go from 0 to 100 by default even though there is a way you can change that uh, it goes from 0 to 1 so I'm going to try point 0 0.4 and to compare let me draw another ellipse there you go and normally we will set something like color mode uh, in the setup function as in you know setting up the whole sketch with this color mode and also you might be wondering why does not background changing because background is right now set to 120 we know from grayscale value that should be kind of mid gray but here it's represented as just white that's because we changed the color mode to HSB so in HSB 120 just doesn't work so if you want to try a gray value for background but using HSB color mode then we need to also set it as in this way H S and B so H doesn't really matter because uh, we'll set the saturation to zero anyways so that will make this background color uh, to grayscale then you just control the gray value with brightness so if I try 50 it'll be just halfway or 80 will be light gray and so on that's only because we set the saturation to zero and because of that if you change hue value to whatever value here it doesn't do anything as long as the saturation is set to zero then we can use just grayscale value so please take some time to practice you know default color mode of RGB RGBA and HSB and HSBA and see if you can sort of control the color in a way you like 